Okay, we're looking at the inscribed angles. Practice, this might be a little bit different than yours. We're gonna start with number two. Number two is not an inscribed angle because it does not go all the way to the other side. It would have to look like this. If we label this point right here A, then this could be, we were talking about arc KL and angle KAL, but again, with KML, it doesn't work, it's a no. Okay, so you could just put no for that one. I was just showing you how it could be. Okay, for number five, remember we've got to look at inscribed angles are half what the arc is. So that's very important when we're doing this. Okay, so we wanna know what this angle right here is, C, D, E. That is what we're trying to find. In order to do this, we need to realize that for that 95 C, V, E, this is the arc I'm talking about. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take 95 and I'm going to times it by 2. That's 190 right here. Okay, so we know this other side, we can go 360 minus 190. gives us 170. So this arc over here that shares with this angle is 170. And it shares with this brown angle right here. So now we're gonna, just gonna go 170 divided by two, and that gives us 85 degrees. So I'm gonna label that arc uh, angle, excuse me, uh, C, D, E equals 85 degrees, because it's half of 170. Okay, now let's turn it over and I'm going to look at one from the next page. We're going to look at number 11 where we're going to solve for x. And we're going to use those same things that inscribed angles are half their interpreted arc. So if we're looking right here, we've got 96. I want to find out what x is. So the first thing I'm going to do right here is if we're looking at kj, that goes with this red arc I'm drawing in, this red angle, excuse me, 69. So that purple arc is going to be twice 69. So 69 times 2 gives me 138, okay, because arcs are twice their angles. Now, we have all the parts of a circle except this part right here. We've got arc 96, we've got um, arc KL, arc LJ is 138 and we don't have JK. So we can add them up and set them equal to the angles of a circle, which is 360. So I'm just gonna add all these parts together. I'm gonna say 138 plus 96 plus nine gives me 243. 96 plus 138 plus 9 gives me 243, plus 13x equals 360. Then I'm just going to subtract 243 from each side. And I'm going to go 360 minus 243 gives me 117. So 13x gives me 117. Now I'm going to take that, I'm going to divide it by 13. So then x equals 9. And that's my final answer because it just asked me to solve for x. Okay, one more, and then we're going to be done with inscribed angles. We're going to do number 14. Okay, for number 14, I see this purple angle right here, G, F, E, goes with this brown arc right here. And then I've got this red angle, G, J, E, goes with this blue arc right here. So if I just multiply these by 2, I can um, add them together to give me 360. So I'm going to say 2 times 35x minus 1 plus 2 times 56x minus 1 equals 360. So I know this looks like a long equation, but it's pretty simple algebra. You're just going to have to distribute the two for both of them, then combine like terms, then do some subtraction.
Okay, so let's go through these steps. First, we're going to multiply by 2. 2 times 35 is 70x minus 2 plus 2 times 56, which is 112x minus 2 equals 360. So that was step 1. Now step 2, combine like terms. These go together, these go together. So 112 plus 70 gives me 182x. Minus 4 equals 360. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. I get 182x equals 364. Now I'm going to take 364 and divide that by 182. 364 divided by 182 just gives me 2. So x equals 2. Now it did not ask what x was. It asked what angle G, J, E was. G, J, E. So I'm going to have to plug that back in. I'm going to have to go 35 times 2 minus 1. 35 times 2 is 70. 70 minus 1 is 69 degrees. So we're going to say the measure of angle G, J, E equals 69 degrees. Okay. All right. Make sure you're looking at your notes um, and the formulas in your circle book and try some of these out. Let us know if you have any questions.